Hi everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampaCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm excited because today is card class day and we are live. So um, I'm jumping on just a couple minutes early, but I'll give it just a minute for everybody to get logged on. Today we are focusing on the Trusty Tools Bundle, which is a stamp set and dies. This is in the um, January through April mini catalog. And the reason I'm working on this today is because we also have our Trusty Toolbox Designer Series paper. That's one of our celebration items. Love this stuff. I've already used a couple of packs, but it has so many great papers. We'll be using all these, a lot of these papers today. So we have two different um, patterns of tools. Uh, and then on the back of this one is some Lost Lagoon, kind of a wash look. This one has... Uh, gray granite nuts and bolts here. I'm not really nuts and bolts, but screws and bolts. <laughs> screws and bolts. And then we have some crossed hammers on that side, which is just kind of fun. Uh, I have I combined all my leftover pieces into this one bag, so I have I haven't used too many of those. I have used some though. Then this one looks like those big tall red toolboxes. It's a great background paper. And then we have um anchors and screws um, in this one and I've got a couple sheets of that and this one I love it's got the measuring tape and then a pegboard on the back and then I think that's all the big pieces I have left what do I have over here any, any more of the smaller pieces we have here's another one of the tool pieces and then it's got a grid pattern on the back. And then we have this red pattern with the white screwdrivers and then kind of a gray wash on the back of that one. It's, that's all I have left. I've been using it. I've had like three or four packs of this. So this is what our, we're gonna make two fun folds out of our three cards. Now, when you make a purchase of $50, well, let's say $30, um, is it 30, it's $30 you're gonna get, is it 30 or 35? I think it's 30, I'll, I'll post that on my blog. But um, when you make that purchase, you're gonna get these six cards for free, a kit of the six cards for free. If you spend $50, you're gonna, gonna get the set of six cards, plus you're gonna get a pack of these rustic metallic adhesive back dots. These are perfect with this suite. These are the manly bling. We like a little bit of manly bling every once in a while. I've got one that's trying to get away from me there. Um, so, you know, I don't know if we have, I was gonna talk, tell you a story, because my husband, okay, so if you have a one out of 10 for handiness and tool collecting, my husband collects tools, like I collect stamping supplies. And so on a scale of, of one to 10, he's, I'll give him an eight. Now my friend Kathleen, her husband, Billy, um, has, a, has a whole workshop, and he is a machinist, so he even manufactures some of his own tools. He gets a 10, a 10 on the tool scale. My husband gets an eight, maybe an eight and a half. I have some son-in-laws who are down at the zero, <laughs> at the zero level. And then I think my girls, my daughters are like between, uh, I have maybe one at the two, and one at the five level. So they're right in the middle. Well, I give Katie, Katie's got maybe a seven because she's remodeled her kitchen. She does a lot of home projects. Uh, Jackie probably does the next amount of home projects. So um, they have their their father's love of tools as well. So I don't know if, if you don't have um, a significant other that is on the tool scale past a zero, or a one, you probably know somebody who is handy, either a father or a brother or a son or a next door neighbor comes over and helps you out. Um, it's these. This tool set is good for any of those people in your life. Okay, let's get started. So we're gonna start with a fun fold. This one does not actually have any stamping involved, which I like. We're using um, a couple of the a couple of the designer paper patterns. So here's the, the measuring tape. And what I've done is just cut strips to show the measuring tape. So you have, let's see, is this real? This is actually uh, on, actually got the right measurements on it. 
So it's got metric and imperial. And then we're going to use this die set. This is called Mini Alphabet Dies. So cute, kind of rounded. I love these. And I just die cut the word hello. And I just pre-did pre that to save a little bit of time out of the um, Lost Lagoon, which is the color of our background paper here. All right, so when you make your purchase, you will get a PDF with the measurements um, on, on the, uh, what am I saying? I lost my train of thought. You're going to get a PDF of the measurements for these cards. I'm not gonna post the measurements on my blog. So what I've got is a piece of a four, and a four and a quarter by 11, and um, I've scored it twice on each side. So one, two, three, four score lines. So we're going to meet in the middle. We're folding it like this, because I want to have kind of this little door look to it. So it's gonna, going to open, and the PDF will have the scoring measurements. I just want to make sure I get this down, creased as well as I can. And then I'm going to adhere this to another piece of, this is thick white cardstock. So I'm just going to glue the back down to the cardstock base. Okay, and we want it to be centered best we can. Okay, now we are going to adhere. I think this is about the same size going either way. And I'm just going to adhere it to my left flap. Okay, it's not gonna go all the way to the top and bottom. But I'm going to just put some adhesive there and it gets pretty close to the edge, but not all the way. And then a little border on the top and the bottom. And then we have our designer paper and you can turn it whichever way. I think I like it that way. This one is the one with the grid paper on the back. Okay. And then here this down. This is a very quick, simple card. And then um, I'm going to adhere our measuring tape down a little bit lower than center. A little lower and center going across. Then we have a little banner that we're gonna pop up, but we're going to glue our letters down. So, hello is H-E-L-L-O. So we have an L in the center, which is what I'm going to glue down first. That's a good way to get your words centered. Sometimes if you start on the left, you'll have, too, uh, you'll have too much room on one side or the other. So if you start in the center and work your way out, and this is, um, we have this grid paper that tells you the center point. You can figure it out so it's the same on both sides. And that really helps with placement. I'm gonna put my L in the center, and then we've got another L. And you don't wanna to use too much adhesive, because it'll squish out and make a mess. I think that's where people struggle with the glue the most, is using too much. Because you don't need a lot. It's very strong glue. Okay. So you're gonna get two of these in your kit and I will send you the letters die cut. Not, I don't do stamping normally, but you'll get these letters die cut. And then if you want to stamp something instead of the letters, you can do that too. Cute. Hello, I love it. Okay, let's use a couple of dimensionals and pop this up. All right. 
I'm just going to cover up my the metric because, you know, here in the United States, most of us old timers use the um, inches instead of centimeters and millimeters. May not be keeping up with the world. That's just, you know, some of us are too old to learn other things. Okay. So I'm gonna use these rustic metallic dots. I love these things. Put maybe one up there and we'll do another, another big one down at the bottom. We'll do two bigs and a small on this one. Okay, isn't that, isn't that cool? I, don't, I need to move that over. I don't think I like it there. There we go. Okay, that is card number one, so quick. All right, let's do card number two. I think we'll do this one next. Okay, so this one we are going to do a little bit of stamping. And I've used some of the papers again. We've got our, our red with the screwdrivers. And then on the back, the, we're using that back side for our sentiment. And then this one has the grid paper and the tools, but we're using the grid paper on this one. And then I have some of this jute twine that we're going to use. And I'll show you what we'll do with that in just a minute. Let's get a, these designer paper on here first and get that out of the way. Okay. Yeah, my husband loves tools. Um, he's got quite a collection and sometimes he buys the same tools twice and I say why do you need another one of those <laughs> usually it's because he can't find it he loves his tools not real good at organizing his tools okay now I shouldn't talk because sometimes I lose things too um okay so we're going to use we're going to we're gonna color these. Now in this stamp set, we have the hammer, um, a monkey, that's it, monkey wrench, paintbrush, we have a pencil and a tape measure along with some uh, little nuts and bolts. And then we have filler colors too. So I thought we'd use that on um, this card. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use the filler colors on the next card. This one I'm going to do some coloring. So we are gonna take, this is, what color is this? Dark Real Red. And I am going to just color the bottom of my wrench uh, red. Hopefully get this colored without going out of the lines. All right, and then I'm gonna color the handle of my um, hammer, dark crumb cake. Now you could absolutely do all the different shades. You could do, you could do shading and all that good stuff. You know, I'm not the best color as far as seeing, so I'm just going with, with straight coloring. Okay. And then I'm using, what color is this? Light gray granite to do my metal parts of my tools. Okay. This one has like an open spot. I think I colored it on my sample. Earlier I just colored the whole gray thing, but you know, that's like a hole that's in there. I need to leave that hole open. You don't have to, I didn't. I've done it both ways, open and, clo and closed. Okay, there we go. Now we are gonna grab our dies, so we're gonna die cut these. Okay, look at all the pieces. I mean, we can, we can assemble our own drill. We've got um, shears, we have the tape measure, there's so many different things we can um, we can just die cut and assemble without even stamping. You know, we can cut out a whole wrench. So we could cut those out of metallic papers. All right, I'm gonna clear a space. 
I'm just going to grab my big shot. This is what I have upstairs right now. Okay, everything else is ready for card class tonight in person. Okay. Sometimes this jumps around. Let's flip this. It might be better. I'm using the magnetic platform, which sometimes can be a little tricky, but I still like it. Okay. And this die cut. There, so we don't lose them. Okay, perfect. All right. And then we are going to stamp. We're going to stamp happy birthday. I should have done that way earlier. Now, this stamp set does not have a birthday stamp. So I have used, um, it has happy Father's Day, but I wanted to do birthday. So I grabbed the achievement. Oh, it's the, um, I don't know where I put the stamp set but it's the video game one I'll post the I'll post my supplies but I used the little video game stamp set to do my happy birthday look I didn't stamp that right mm -mm -mm -mm. let me grab another, another piece I just tried to rush good thing we have lots of scraps I always do I always um, cut a bunch of extra just in case okay Give it a little wiggle and we'll make sure we get that covered. Okay. So you can just grab any happy birthday uh, stamp that you have for if you want to do this as a birthday. The sentiments here. We've got thank you. We've got dad. Happy Father's Day. And you're the most awesome. But um, it, so it doesn't have a birthday set, which is one thing that I wish it did have but we we'll, you know we can make do most of us have some birthday sentiments in different places okay now i am just putting a small dimensional at the top and the bottom because we are going to be doing some weaving of strings so i've got some of that jute and silver twine and we're going to be weaving that around after I put these down. All right. And do happy birthday here. And then I'm going to do this right at the end. Because this is kind of going over, but I want this straight. Okay. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to do kind of an S. So we'll see how that works. So I'm going to weave it under here. This part's a little tricky. You could actually, if you want, you could um, put it down before. And it was easier the last time I did it. <laughs> I didn't have so many problems. <laughs> Let's just lift that up. Let's carefully lift up the end and weave that there. <laughs> and then we'll stick it under our sentiment and kind of, there we go. those down and then yeah let's do this we're gonna just pop those up and wrap it around here and then maybe up around there there we go s s for stamping okay 
And then what you can do, let's grab, grab a glue dot and we'll add a little glue dot to hold that in place. Um, I don't know where my piercer went, so let's just grab a little glue dot, stick it to the back of our jute string here. And we'll put that over there and hold that in place. So if you want, just do an S and then put your, um, your tools in. <laughs> that might be easier. Okay, whatever works best for you. All right, let's just put a couple of these. Uh, oh, it didn't stick. You can put those wherever you like. Okay, that's card number two. Aside from that string, pretty easy. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know what I'm thinking when I do things. Okay, let's do our last card. This one has a little more stamping. It's another fun fold. So we've got a, a larger base here. And we have some score lines. We've got one, two, three, four, four score lines. And we're going to adhere this on this big back panel. Of course, the measurements you'll get in a PDF when you make a purchase. Okay, we're gonna put this right here. And then on our front panel, the first panel, we're gonna put this one. All right. Okay, and then we are going to Fold it. We're going to fold this one back and then we'll fold this up. Fold this back and then fold this one forward. We have a little accordion style on our front panel just like that. All right, now we're going to take this. We've got another piece that's squared right in the center and it's going to fold backwards. So on this one, we are going to put, we've got this big uh, circular saw. It's just a big, you know, one of our tool pieces. All right. And this is, we're going to stamp here. So I'm not going to glue that piece on yet. I'm going to stamp on these two. So these are going to glue inside. So this will glue, just this edge will glue to this front panel right here in the center. And then... When we open it up, this panel glues inside here. So let's do this first. We'll do this one. We'll put a couple pieces on here. So this is the front. And I do about halfway on the front. And then on this back panel. We're going to just fold this here stick that there and then here we have a little panel in the back just to pop up our our white and I like this wants to or we want to not this wants to we want to fit it right behind here so this is going to cover cover this so I just kind of hold it there and then use that to place it so it's covered okay now let's do our stamping we've got our front and our inside okay so on our front we have this sentiment that says, on the, on here it says, you're the most awesome, and I cut off the most, and I just did, you're awesome. I don't know, the grammar on, you're the most awesome. It's, it's good, but I like you're awesome better. But I still have that, so I can add it if I want. And then on the inside, I'm gonna do a thank you. This is a great card for um, if someone does a good, a nice project for you. So we've got those sentiments. And then we are going to stamp the paintbrush. I'm gonna stamp my paintbrush just kinda at an angle, fit it on the front. Okay, and that's all we're gonna do in the black. Then we have gray. This is gray granite, which is the color cardstock we're using. I'm going to use our little screws and nuts and bolts, and we'll do, we'll 
do these down in the corner. And then we'll do maybe a couple of these right here. We'll flip it around. Do a couple there. That's the inside. So we're done with that. Now let's do some stamping of the inside of our paintbrush. So I'm using Pecan Pie for the handle of our paintbrush. It's kind of a nice brown color. So here we want to look down and get that circle lined up and then the bottom edge. And if it's not perfect, it is okay. Because if you look at the paper, the designer paper, the colors don't necessarily match exactly to the tools. So it's a little, you know, a little off in a lot of places, which is okay. All right, and then our other accent color is real red. So we're going to stamp our, our fun little paint down at the bottom of our brush, hopefully. Not perfect let's let's just add a little more a paint a little bit lower that's better easily remedied if your paint's too high you got to have your paint down to the bottom of the brush okay so let's adhere this to the inside of our card make sure my fingers are clean okay there we go Put this on the front. So no die cutting on this one, just some stamping and folding. And let's put a couple of, oh, I've used all my big ones on this sheet. So we're gonna just use, use some small ones. We'll use a couple, a couple of small ones. Usually it's the big ones I have left. Okay. That is it. Isn't that cool? Now I'm gonna decorate my envelopes. I'm not gonna do them right now, but we are going to, you know what? I'm gonna do one because, only because I have a ton of scrap paper. So we're gonna decorate this one to go here. So when you have some extra pieces of the scrap or of the designer paper and you don't have anything to use them with, Envelopes are a great way to do that. I can't see where that line is. Okay. I want it to go right up to the top there. Ah, it's already done. I need to keep that envelope closed when I'm doing that, though. Okay. Just trim this. Sweet. Love it. Matches. Perfect. Um... I might use this. I've got this whole extra piece, so I'll do this on one of the other envelopes. But just, you know, use your scraps. Use them up. Who wants to save little pieces? I like to get them all used up. So let's review one more time all of our cards. We've got two fun folds, this fun little um, tool card. So I hope you enjoyed today's projects. Let's see. We've got Valida watching. Sherry. Hi, Valida. Sherry. Okay, so pardon my hand. I'm just scrolling to see see who's on. So, um, yeah, that is it for today. I've got two more um, Saturday and Monday. We've got more projects using the trusty tool uh, toolbox designer paper and the bundle. So you want to make sure you check back on Saturday and Monday. And I think that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's card class, and I will see you all soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.